Welcome to the Virtual College Fair for All Virginia Students, sponsored by the Virginia Association of Collegiate Registrars and Admissions Counselors and StriveScan. Thank you for joining us. A few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. Your camera and microphone are off so the panelists cannot see or hear you. This is just one of many different sessions happening, so be sure to check out the full schedule at strivescan.com slash Virginia. This presentation is being recorded and will be available within about a week at that same website, strivescan.com slash Virginia. And now I'd like to turn it over to our first presenter from West Liberty University. Great, thank you so much. And thank you everyone for joining us here today. Uh, my name's Aaron Kuhn. I'm one of the admission counselors at West Liberty University. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my screen full screen for you all. Starting out, I just wanna say, um, you might notice that I'm working from home today. So hopefully my internet cooperates. Uh, but this is the best visual of West Liberty University. We are blessed with an absolutely beautiful hilltop campus in the Northern Panhandle of West Virginia. Uh, so I always like to joke and say that West Virginia is the best Virginia. Um, but in all seriousness, right now is the perfect time to visit the Northern Panhandle um, or the entire state of West Virginia. It's a great place for social distancing. We have tons of great outdoor adventures um, where you can safely get out and explore. So now is a perfect time to come visit campus. Um, but we're just about to hit peak foliage up here in the Northern Panhandle. And this to me is what makes West Lib West Lib. It's absolutely beautiful. Fall is my favorite time. Winter is beautiful as well. When you're in a dorm or in a classroom, you literally feel like you're in a snow globe. Um, so we are very blessed with an absolutely beautiful campus. I'm West Liberty alum myself. Uh, so the first thing I'm gonna show you is a really brief 30 second visual uh, that I think does a great job of showing you who we are and what we do at West Liberty University. There's a place where family and tradition are forged in the West Virginia Hills, strengthened by the inspiration of a world-class education, where hands-on learning is encouraged and applied, a community where you will be supported and be inspired to support others, an experience that is more than just a university, it's a place you'll call home, a legacy you'll leave for generations to come. It's all here at West Liberty University. Okay, so again, I hope that you could both see and hear that. Two things I like to point out from the video uh, that I can attest to as West Liberty alum. The first is when they say where hands-on learning is encouraged and applied. That is what West Liberty is known for, practicum. So when students think of a college set or university setting, they often think of theory-based learning. And yeah, that does happen at West Liberty, but our faculty are known for taking it beyond that. So we want to give you practical, hands-on learning experiences and opportunities that get you placed in your career field, get you placed into graduate school or professional school. That's what West Liberty is known for. The second thing is that it's all here at West Liberty University. Anything you think of when you think of a college or university experience, you can get at West Liberty but you can get it in a smaller, more intimate learning environment where faculty and staff know you as a person. By the end of a student's first semester at West Liberty, most people on campus are gonna know who you are, where you're from, and where you want to go. And we're gonna do everything in our capacity to get you uh, to your final destination. Uh, so now I'm going to quickly cover just some brief fast facts about the university. West Liberty is actually the oldest institution of higher learning in the entire state of West Virginia. Um, so we are older than WVU. We are older than Marshall University. We're actually nearly 30 years older than the state of West Virginia itself. Um, and so you can hopefully see through that brief video that what that means to you as prospective students is that we offer really unique learning environments. Uh, quite a few buildings are on the National Register for Historic Buildings. Uh, so I like to think that there's a really nice mix of 
old historic structures um, with newer builds. Um, and so a lot of great learning spaces for you. West Liberty has obviously grown a lot since 1837. We have right around 2,500 students total. It's kind of exactly where we want to be. We have an average class size of 25 and a student faculty ratio of 15 one. So I like to say that West Liberty is a state institution almost disguised as a private institution. So you get that personalized education, but you get it at a state rate. West Liberty is one of the top 100 most affordable universities in the entire US. We award six plus million in scholarships every single year, uh, which is quite a substantial amount considering we have around 2,500 students. We offer over 70 majors of study to choose from. Almost anything you can think of, you can do at West Liberty. Uh, we started as a teacher's college, so we have incredible programs in education. Uh, we have a College of Business, College of Liberal Arts, College of Fine Arts, and then the College of Sciences is our largest college. Uh, we're really known for biology, uh, specifically conservation biology. We have a zoo science and applied conservation program. Uh, so for that, we have 300 animals actually living on our campus. And um, then we're about five minutes away from the Ogilvy Good Zoo. Um, so again, I was speaking earlier about West Liberty being known for practicum. That's the best example. If you're a zoo sci student, you're working with zoo animals on campus your first week of classes. Uh, so we are part of the Mountain East Conference. We're Division II Athletics. If you're not familiar um, with D2 Athletics, basketball is a really big deal at West Liberty. Uh, both our men and women's basketball teams are nationally ranked. I and mean, kind of historically, uh, West Liberty has had really competitive athletic teams. I mentioned earlier that we're located in the Northern Panhandle. Our location is absolutely unique. So we're nestled on top of a hill top. Um, we have the safest college campus in the state of West Virginia, and one of the top 10% for safest universities throughout the country. Uh, so you are somewhat isolated on our campus, uh, but at the same time, you're about 15 minutes away from downtown Wheeling, West Virginia. A lot of unique local shops and restaurants. You're about two hours away from Columbus, Ohio about an hour away from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Uh, so, interrupt, but that is the end of your six minutes. Okay, thank you so much. So next we'll be hearing from Regent University. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome. And thanks everyone for joining us today. My name is Cindy Hilliard from Regent University. And in the few minutes that we have together, I would like to share with you information about our university and how we can help you discover your future. So Regent is a private four-year Christian university with over 4,400 undergraduate students enrolled. And our students come from all 50 states, 90 different countries and 40 denominations. You can choose to study online, live on campus, or commute from the local area. On our campus, um, you're going to see um, lots of different um, types of people, and we welcome everyone. You'll see here on the slide that our average GPA and scores listed um, are going to be averages. So it's important to remember that we take a holistic approach to admissions and we really do take everything into consideration. So don't let these numbers um, scare you. We encourage you to apply. These are just averages um, and it's good to remember that. Okay, on this slide, you'll see our awards and recognitions. Regent has a rich history for more than 40 years as an award-winning accredited Christian university. For eight years in a row, we've been recognized by US News and World Report for having the number one best online bachelor's program in Virginia. And this was really important when we had to move um, all of our classes to online platform because of COVID. We were able to do that very seamlessly. We are one of only 22 universities nationally to be A-rated for our comprehensive liberal arts curriculum. We awarded over 24 million in institutional scholarships and aid for the 2018-2019 school year. And 90% of our full-time faculty hold the highest degree in their discipline, usually the PhD, and they're actually true practitioners in their fields. 
we have a student teacher ratio of 17 to 1 and so you're not going to be lost um, in a class in a big lecture hall or being taught by a teaching assistant and this will help you form lasting relationships not only just with your um, peers but also with your professors as well so at Regent, we realize that figuring out the financial piece of where to go to college is a very big decision, and we are committed to making it affordable. We are among the top 5% of the most affordable private Christian universities for our bachelor's programs, and 85% of our students do receive some form of aid. So when you look at these totals, please understand that we have several ways to help you fund your education at Regent, and we never want price to stand in the way of you becoming a student with us. Um, and we have something on our website, this is a really great tool called our net price calculator that will help you um, figure out exactly what your price would be for attending. So Regent University is a liberal arts university with over 135 different programs of study. So we offer everything from certificate and associate degrees to PhD programs. Um, our majors range, you can see here from arts and communications all the way down to STEM. And this wealth of uh, knowledge and breadth and depth of these programs and resources are available to you even as an undergraduate student. Um, and your undergraduate population is going to be a lot more intimate with about 1300 on campus. So in this slide, you're going to see you, the student in the middle, with all of our resources kind of encircling you, everything from academic support to campus ministries. Um, so I'm not going to go take the time to go into each one in depth, but just rest assured, if you are a student at um, Regent, we are going to be with you every single step of the way. So we understand that attending college is more than just um, academics. And at Regent, we have over 55 different clubs and organizations on campus, um, everything from surf club to moot court. Um, we have a big activities board, a swing dance club, um, lots of different things to get involved in. And we always say, if you don't see what you want, you can start your own club as well. Um, we have nine collegiate athletic sports. We're a member of the NCCAA Division I. Um, we also have lots of opportunities for club and intramural sports if you don't want to participate in the varsity ones. And we also have eSports, which we know is a um, growing um, field right now. In addition, as a Christian college, we are interested in your spiritual growth. So there are lots of opportunities um, for this, including weekly chapel, um, unchapel, life groups, um, and different service opportunities. And we do also have about 30% of our population that are in the military or military affiliated. So we do offer several different ROTC programs, a preparatory program, and many scholarships related to um, the military. We also have a military resource center, which can help you with a lot of this. So we are located in beautiful coastal Virginia in Virginia Beach, and there's lots of different attractions all around us. Um, we are about 45 minutes from Williamsburg, very close to the Outer Banks. Um, we have uh, Norfolk and um, lots of theme parks and museums that are close. So we encourage you to visit. We are welcoming students for on-campus visits right now. Um, and you can also take a tour of our dorms um, online as well. So we invite you to apply. Um, you can call the number on the screen, speak with one of our admissions counselors, and they can usually um, waive the $50 application for you. So we look forward to seeing you and um, talking with you soon. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, just a reminder to send in your Q&A questions at any time. And now we'll be hearing from Virginia Tech. Thank you all so much for um, spending time today to learn more about um, all the universities representing today and Virginia Tech. I'm so excited to be telling you a little bit about Virginia Tech. Um, I'm both an alum and I work in the Office of Undergraduate Admissions. My name is Gabrielle Minnick, and I, I'm one of those folks who believes that orange and maroon go perfectly together. So um, I'm going to give you a little look at Virginia Tech today. Um, we're located in that southwestern part of Virginia, so down in that sort of that little end there. 
Um, we're surrounded by beautiful mountains and the colors are changing right now. So it's just the trees are gorgeous. Um, our students take advantage of the natural opportunities that are around us uh, with lakes, rivers, and um, mountain biking and hiking. So there's a lot of things going on at Virginia Tech in that sense. But we're also sort of a little hidden gem because we're a large university um, in a small town. So you get that real good collegiate experience when you come here to Virginia Tech. Um, Ut prosim is one of the things that makes us stand out. That's our Latin motto, and it means that I may serve. And we believe that wholeheartedly throughout the whole experience of your time at Virginia Tech, from the moment you step on campus all the way through your graduation and on into your alumni career. Um, service is who we are and what we do. Um, it began with our Corps of Cadets when they established the, established the university as a military institution. And now that we're a civilian institution with a military presence as well, uh, one of the six senior military institutions in the country, um, we are so proud of that tradition and we do everything we can to live it out. Everything from in classrooms where there's uh, service as part of the curriculum all the way through um, your time um, in extracurriculars and the uh, organizations you belong to and, and efforts all across campus with things like Relay for Life and the big event. We take all of that so seriously because it's part of who we are and what we do. Uh, the Hokie Nation with over 250,000 living alumni, we've got each other's back. We um, Hokies hire Hokies. They come to campus to um, employ, to you get internships, uh, to offer you co-ops, to employ you. Um, it's just this wonderful cycle of support uh, throughout from the time you're a student all the way through. So the Hokie Nation is part of who we are as well. Um, when it comes to academics, you want an institution that can offer you everything you can think of, and that's who we are. We have over 120 undergraduate majors. Um, and we categorize them into these colleges you see here on this slide. And why I'm stressing this right now is because it's important for application. When you apply to Virginia Tech, you do apply into a major. So um, if you go onto our website, vt.edu, you can spend some time looking at our undergraduate majors and seeing what those names sound like and seeing if that might be the right fit for you. You can double major, you can add a minor, or whatever you choose to do, we can help you get to your academic goals. Um, you can go undecided in any one of our colleges, and that may be your best bet. If you know you want to do business, but you're not sure what, think about that undecided major. All of our colleges have one, and that's a, that might be a good way to go. Um, we look at you, both your academics and who you are outside the classroom. We do the self-reported academic uh, record. We look at you in terms of what rigor your school has, and we are test optional right now. Um, we do have the different deadlines. Our binding decision, um, if we offer you admission, you're going to take it. Um, you see the dates for early action. If we, um, when you apply into that round, the good thing is you'll see your financial aid package. And then regular uh, admission at Virginia Tech is on space availability only. So some of our majors, those high, um, uh, very competitive majors like our engineering program or our architecture or design programs, they may not have uh, the seats available once we get to that phase. So you really have to think about when you want to apply. Um, it does cost to go to any university. There are our costs, the same as last year. Um, we do offer scholarships and financial aid, and our recommendation is to please get your application for both of those, both the FAFSA and the general scholarship application in by the January 22nd deadline. And you'll be, um, that will give you the best uh, financial aid package we can possibly give to you. Um, why Virginia Tech? Why come to this university? Um, we have our brag points, every university does. We have a great graduation rate. Um, more of our undergraduates are employed um, uh, at that rate we see right there. Our average starting salary, 60,000 a year. And the one thing we're really proud of is that it's 93% right now of our freshmen who come in, come back for their second year. So um, we're offering what people want to get at Virginia Tech. And so uh, we could be a good home, a good choice for you as well. Um, we have social media contacts. You can be in touch with us, uh, call us or um, email us. We're ready to answer your questions and um, we look forward to welcoming you onto campus as well. Thank you. Thank you.
just a reminder to send in Q&A questions and now we'll be hearing from Campbell University. All right, hello everybody. Um, my name is Kara. Let me get my screen up here. All right, so Campbell University is a four year private university um, in North Carolina. We um, have about 4,000 undergraduate students. So we're right around the small to medium size. Um, I am your admissions counselor for all um, the Virginia schools and counties. My name is Kara. So this is a quick look of where we are. Um, we are located in central North Carolina, um, close to Raleigh, not too far of a drive, um, and also pretty close to the other North Carolina hubs and the coast as well. So Campbell at a glance shows you um, that we do offer a number of different academic majors, minors, tracks, and concentrations, about 150. Um, and you can see our top five here listed in the bottom left corner, biology and the health sciences being the biggest. Um, we have a lot of students interested in multiple areas of the health sciences and use biology to kind of jump off into different graduate and professional schools. Uh, we do offer business with several majors and a few unique ones like professional golf management and trust and wealth management. Our engineering school offers three concentrations. We offer pretty much anything pre-law as well as our law school in downtown Raleigh and then pharmacy, clinical research, and pharmaceutical sciences are kind of our bread and butter and what we're most well known for. This is a quick look at our class profile, some average numbers for you, about a 3.5 unweighted GPA coming in, and then some average test score numbers there. We do boast a pretty small class size, about 20 to 25 on average, with 83% of the people teaching you in your class are faculty members, professors who hold the highest degree in their field of study or their discipline. So how do you get to Campbell? Well, first you have to apply. So go ahead and submit a free application on our website. Um, it is completely free to submit. We do also ask for your official high school transcript submitted directly from your high school or guidance counselor. Um, and this year we are test flex. Um, giving you the option to submit your application without a test score. Um, we will require a test score by enrollment next August um, if you choose to come to Campbell to be used for um, placement and um, advisement. So scholarships are a big part of the college search and the college selection process. So Campbell makes that a lot easier um, from the start about two weeks after you receive your acceptance package. You also receive a letter in the mail letting you know about um, the academic based scholarship or merit based scholarship that we are awarding to you solely based on your academic success in high school. So besides academics, we have a ton going on on campus. Um, anything from spiritual life, um, Greek life, student government, um, Army and Air Force ROTC, tons of different intramural and club sports and then 21 Fighting Camels athletic teams. This is a full list of our Division I athletics. Um, we have 11 women's sports and 10 male sports, primarily competing in the Big South Tournament. Uh, women's swimming is CCSA, and our wrestling team is in the Southern Conference. This is one of our facilities on campus, the Convocation Center which houses our arena inside where we play basketball, volleyball, and wrestling. And of course, you can't miss the giant bronze camel, the largest camel statue in the country, actually. That's our mascot, um, Gaylord the Camel. So Campbell was founded as a Baptist university, and we hold true to that Christian culture, offering you many opportunities for spiritual growth, um, Bible studies, small groups, service learning, um, but we don't require students to come in with any particular background or any particular statement of faith. So the last thing I'll show you on our campus is our brand new student union that was just opened this fall. 
Um, we do have students on campus and in class this semester, so they are enjoying this awesome new facility with all of these cool things inside. Um, a lot of dining, fitness center, movie theater, and pretty much the headquarters for student life. Now, of course, you may have questions now or in the future, so please reach out to us. That is our main admissions email and phone number. Please follow us on these social media accounts, especially um, Instagram and see a day in the life of a camel. And please reach out to me as well um, as your counselor in Virginia. Um, thank you so much for attending and we hope to hear from you very soon. Thank you. And next we'll be hearing from the University of California, Irvine. Hi everyone, thanks for joining us today. We're really excited to have you. I am, my name is Andrea and I'm with the University of California, Irvine. UC Irvine, if you haven't heard of us, we are a public selective research institution. We are ranked in the top 10 public schools in the entire country and we're really proud to be in that group. We had a 30% admit rate this past year and out-of-state students should have at least a GPA of a 3.4 weighted when they apply to our campus. A few things to note about the UC application, we share it with all the other UC schools, so UCLA, Berkeley, Santa Barbara, we all share one application. When you fill out the application, you would check each school you want to send it to for a cost of $70 per campus. We are also, um, the whole UC system went test optional this year, but UCI decided to take that one step further, which means that even if you submit your application with a test score at UCI, we will not look at your test score for our review, our selection, nor our scholarships. Something unique about the UC application though is that it is due November 30th. So if you're seniors and you're listening right now, please have that in by November 30th. You can start filling it out now. You can't even submit it till November 1st. So you have a minute, um, but not too many minutes. A few reasons why you might want to consider UCI, especially if you're already applying to the UC system and things that I think really highlight how unique and different we are as a campus is one, our beautiful location. We're in sunny Southern California. We are halfway between Los Angeles and San Diego, about 10 minutes from Newport Beach, about 15 minutes to Laguna Beach. So we're in this really great ideal location. When you look at the area, you can be um, on the beach at, in the evening for a bonfire with other students from your student club, but in the morning you might have been snowboarding at one of the um, great mountains nearby. Um, this is the beauty of our weather. We also have some really great options with our location. I think a lot of students think Southern California, they have to be in LA to get those internships. That's just not the case. We have over one third of all Fortune 500 companies in the city of Irvine. So lots of internship opportunities right in our backyard. Another unique thing about UC Irvine is our physical layout. When we were built just 55 years ago, so we're 55 years young, we were built in a way that um, meant that everything was connected. And our, I think it's no more apparent than in today's current climate that everything is connected. UCI has been operating from that standpoint since our existence. So we have already helped students to connect really disparate ideas into one big academic environment. We built our campus in a physical way to really um, kind of make this easier on students and on our faculty too. All of our faculty are expected to bring in dis different disciplines when they're thinking, when they're teaching, and when they're doing research on our campus. So we are a large campus, over 30,000 undergrads, but it feels a lot smaller. So when you look at this um, map here, it's built in a perfect one mile circle to all of your academic buildings. That one mile circle, Ring Road, takes about 20 minutes to walk from one side to the other. In the middle is a beautiful park, um, over 14,000 trees, very green, very serene. Uh, because of our weather, we enjoy it all year round but it is also the place where we hold concerts and two student involvement fairs throughout the year and four career fairs and uh, plenty of other opportunities throughout the campus and in this park. Um, again, because of our beautiful weather. Something about UCI's majors, we take that interdisciplinary approach, not just with our faculty, but we make it easy for students to double major. In fact, so much so that over half of our students double major or major and minor in two very different disciplines. You might already know what you wanna do, or you might come in undeclared and undecided, and we can help shepherd you to where you wanna go. Um, or you might wanna do a little bit of this and a little bit of that, and we're happy to work with you on all of that. 
What students come across the country from Virginia typically to UCI for is something in the medical and health field. That is an area that we're really strong. We have our own medical school, our own hospital. We do a ton of undergraduate research, which really helps students applying to medical school um, highlight on their resume that why they should be there. We also offer 10 different biology majors. Plus we have a public health school, a pharmaceutical science school, a nursing school, and a biomedical engineering program. So lots in that field. The other thing students come across the country for is typically in computer science or engineering. These are really strong. Uh, we are a research school, so we do a lot of teaching you how to critically think in your field. But in these two programs, and really in most of our majors, over 80% of our majors, we include some sort of hands-on work. So for computer science and engineering, in both of those, you will do a senior design project where you'll work with a nearby company to design some sort of something to really help kind of launch your career, build your resume, um, and help you get that hands-on experience. We also have top business, dance, criminology, physics, um, uh, and a few other programs as well. So lots to choose from. As I mentioned, many of our majors include some sort of hands-on learning. You see a few pictures here and a few of the businesses that we partner with. We, again, are in this really dynamic area. When you drive around Irvine, it looks very suburban, but you have all of these businesses right in our backyard. Um, so lots to choose from in that area. We also have a very dynamic study abroad and internship program in Washington, DC. Most of the students that do an internship there, which they get college credit for, so it doesn't slow you down to graduate, do it on Capitol Hill, but you can also do it with the Smithsonian, with the National Institute of Health, uh, with Interpol, with uh, the FBI, so lots and lots of options to build your network in DC, especially if you wanna come back uh, to the Eastern side of the country when you're done. We are a diverse campus. We are very proud that we bring in a very diverse student body. We support them while they're there and then we help them graduate um, better than most camp campuses in the country. And finally, we're the anteaters. It's just this really, really fun mascot. We do this, it looks like a little anteater and we go zot, 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 and we cheer this at sporting events. We are a D1 school, but we also cheer this at esports events. We have one of the best esports programs in the country. We um, cheer this at graduation, at commencement, um, with our over 600 clubs on campus. This is another great way for students to show their school spirit. So we're really proud to be the anteaters, and it has a lot more to do than with just sports for that school spirit. Finally, if you're watching this via video later, um, if you scan this, it'll let me know that you watched this presentation and that you want more info from UCI. Feel free to take a picture um, to get more info as well on our out-of-state page. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Thank you. And lastly, we'll be hearing from Shenandoah University. All right, so how are you guys doing? My name is Joshua White. I'm an admissions counselor here at Shenandoah University. I'm so glad that you guys are joining us here on today. Um, I'm, um, while I'm talking today, if you guys would like to um, scan the QR code that is on the presentation, you can be definitely do that so you can receive more information from Shenandoah University. So give me one second as I start this slide and we can go ahead and get started. So when you're here at Shenandoah University, uh, we are located in Winchester, Virginia. Uh, Winchester from um, is in Northern Virginia. We're about uh, 70 minutes from DC, about two and a half hours from Richmond, Virginia. Um, so it's a little distance away near the Shenandoah Valley. But the great thing about that is that all students are allowed to have cars on campus. Yes, as a freshman, you can have a car on campus. We have students from over 55 different countries that attend Shenandoah University. So we have students from Saudi Arabia, Asia, Africa, literally all over the world. And we have students from over 44 different states in the United States that attend Shenandoah as well. So all of these students bring a unique perspective, a different idea, a different gender, uh, a different background. And we love to know that students come on this campus and they are accepted as they are. All these students also bring different academics as well. We have over 4,000 students that attend Shenandoah. We have students from, um, we are, our undergraduate is a little under 2,000 students. So because of all those numbers, we have an 11 to one student to faculty ratio. 
and the average class size at Shenandoah is around 20 to 15 students. So inside every single classroom that you go into, it's gonna literally look identical to your high school classroom of where you are right now. You'll have a voice inside the classroom. The professor will know your name. I was a graduate from Shenandoah. Sometimes I miss class. If I miss more than three classes, my professor actually came knocking on my door. So your professors will know who you are, they'll know everything about you, and they'll build personal relationships with you as well. Our students, we have students that, like I said, that thrive in different academics. We have over seven schools and over 90 majors at Shenandoah University. We have our College of Arts and Science that consists of our Division of Education, that also includes our Division of Applied Technology. We're actually the first school in Virginia to have virtual reality as a major. Our arts and science is our largest school at Shenandoah. We also have our conservatory, which consists of music, theater, and dance. So if you're interested in musical theater, um, dance, music uh, production, recording technology, and other uh, music or theater or dance programs, we have tons of those majors. That's our, one of our most popular schools at Shenandoah. We also have our School of Business, which is AACSB accredited. And we're actually the first school in the country that had esports as a major, all right? So if you're interested in esports, we also have a team, but we, you can actually study it and receive your business administration degree in that major, all right? And then we also have our School of Nursing, which is direct admit and also our graduate health professions that has tons of programs in athletic training, physical therapy, occupational therapy, and others as well. And we also have our School of Pharmacy. At Shenandoah, we, we have tons of students that do different things, all right? We have 22 NCAA Division III teams. We compete in the Old Dominion Athletic Conference. So if you want to continue your athletic career, whether that's in football, wrestling, softball, volleyball, we have tons of NCAA teams and we're sponsored by Under Armour. Our athletics compete at a very high level. We've had students to be named All-American. I was a student athlete at Shenandoah as well, and I was named All-Conference. So if you want to come to a college and continue your athletic career, you can do that here at Shenandoah and in our Division Three athletics. Our conservatory holds over 400 performances each year. All right, so they have more performances than we have days of the year. In all of your classes, you'll get a chance to actually get hands-on experience. We don't want you to really learn about your major. We don't really want to teach you about biology. We don't want to teach you about business. We actually want you to do these, these cool things in your specific major rather than sitting in a classroom. All right, so I'm going to play a short clip that talks a lot about Shenandoah University for you and also give you a chance to see our campus as well. So that was a quick video for you guys. We are completely test optional here at Shenandoah. Um, no SAT, no ACT scores required. The only required materials is just your application and your transcript. So if you would like to start applying, you can apply now. We work on rolling admissions, so we don't really have too many firm deadlines for you guys. Um, so if you would like to apply, just click the scan me option and I can actually send you a fee waiver code so that you guys don't necessarily have to pay for the application. And if you want to get some information from me, I'll be the person I'll be working with you guys. So thank you guys for joining us on today. I'm so happy that you got a chance to hear from Shenandoah.
Thank you. We have a couple of minutes left. So I'm just going to ask all of our reps to come back on and quickly share their uh, favorite event that happens on their campus. Starting with West Liberty University. Perfect. Thank you so much. Uh, my favorite event, I think this might be a popular answer is homecoming. It's just really cool to see that such a small university has such a big reach. So all of our alum come back, um, really great networking opportunities. Um, and you just feel like you're at home when you're at homecoming. Awesome. Um, Regent University next. Um, we have something kind of unique at Regent and it's called UnChapel and it's a whole student-led uh, worship experience on Thursday nights and a lot of times um, after that they'll have a big bonfire um, and it's just really a good time for the life groups to come together and people from around campus to uh, join in. Sounds great. Uh, Virginia Tech? One of my favorite things is our uh, Relay for Life, Collegiate Relay for Life that we have every April. And um, our whole the central part of campus, which is our drill field, our big green space, um, is taken over by Relay for Life and all the student organizations come together and set up their encampments, if you will, and they stay overnight and they walk and walk the loop for, uh, for American Cancer Society fundraising. And they turn, they put purple lights all over our iconic, um, collegiate Gothic building in the center of campus, the Burris Hall, and it's just uh, bathed in purple light and um, there's luminaries everywhere. And uh, it's just a really special moment because it brings together all the student organizations in this sort of community feel. Even though it's a big campus, you really feel that sense of community. It's beautiful. That's great. Uh, Campbell University. Yeah, my favorite event at Campbell is the mud volleyball tournament that we host every August um, in the park on our campus. So you can come play, you can come watch, um, but there's usually food trucks and everybody's out there forming teams with their residence halls and um, it's just a lot of fun and you have to throw your clothes away at the end. Sounds fun. Uh, University of California, Irvine. We are really fortunate that our students are active and love to start their own things, um, including setting Guinness World Records. So we currently hold three Guinness World Records, including the world's largest dodgeball game, world's largest capture the flag, and uh, world's largest, I think, squirt gun fight. So those are the three we hold now. We've had some and lost them, um, but we set it, try to set a new record every fall. Not this fall, unfortunately, but most falls. That sounds fun. And lastly, Shenandoah University. Yep, so every year we have this festival that's called Apple Blossom. It's a major festival that we have in Winchester every single year. Um, it's a huge event. We've had people like Wayne Brady, Michael Strahan uh, come down for these events. Um, we even have on the Friday before, um, we cancel classes because it's that big of a deal. Um, so Apple Blossom is a great event. It's kind of just like a huge festival. We have parades, we have fairs, we have your, your kind of like your smaller state fair kind of deal. It's a huge event that we do every single year in Winchester. Sounds great. Well, thank you all for joining us and thank you all for sharing. Um, when you go to close this window, there will be a link to a very quick four question survey. We'd appreciate any feedback you can provide. Also, this was just one of many sessions being hosted, so be sure to check out the full sign up for additional sessions at strivescan.com slash Virginia. And in about a week, you'll be able to find this session's recording, as well as all of the other sessions recordings at that same website, strivescan.com slash Virginia. So uh, I'll say thank you again. Hope you all have a great rest of your day. Bye now. <laughs>